Hi, this is Brian Wilson, and what I'd like to do today is show you how to use templates inside of Google Slides for different activities in your classroom. Now, once you open Google Slides, you'll see here you go to Slide Edit Theme. This will let you open up an actual editor, which will change the way each slide looks. The reason why you do this is to create objects that sit in the background of a slide. So here you see a layout for a classroom with three different stations and then another one with no seats added into the actual slide outline. When you go back to the slides, you can begin to use these new templates any way you want to. See now it's in the background so things aren't changed. The other part is you can have these pre-formatted ones where you have timers. You can move groups using the background, the backdrop, or the desktop, that gray area that's around the slide where you have groups already assigned. So you have a red group, blue group, yellow group, orange group uh, in your classroom, and then those students would actually be able to be moving around. Now if you accidentally grab those, you can change the layout and make sure that you're picking a layout that's actually here. See, I made the mistake of building my classroom desk on top of a blank one and then accidentally move them. By using a template, those desks are actually in the background and do not move at all. This is a benefit when you start building things. Now with this example, you see I've taken a picture of Laura Numeroff's book, If You Take a Mouse to School, and I've added it to one of the slide templates. I went ahead and renamed it at the top, Mouse Book. To use the template, I went ahead and opened a new actual slide. It will default to one of the regular slides pick this one and then I'm going to use this as a closed reading method in my classroom. So what I would do is pick some of the words on the picture and then block them out. Now you could do a couple of things here. I've done the simplest method where I actually drew the block over the word books. I then copied and pasted it again and put it back on there. Now since this is using two different nouns that the mouse is carrying because he's not actually carrying books but he's making books but he's carrying paper and he's using a gerund or a verb for running I decided to put the word books and the word paper and I put the word running and the word writing because the mouse is actually running down the hall but he'll start by writing on on the paper and so the question is asking the kids you know which word actually goes in there with the context so this is using the skill that we did with building the other templates but we're applying it to a book that we're using in class. Now if you want to give this to your students and ask them to do it on their own as part of an activity what I would do is change the background make it gray so that way the words are on a white box you'll see what I'm doing here I'm changing each of the words to a white box and then going through that process you could give this to a student and assign them inside of Google Classroom they would get their own copy of the presentation and then they can make the changes and then submit them back to you. You could do this with multiple different books to see if they understand what the actual writing is going on and to use it. Another variation would be using maps and putting arrows or assigning different pieces of geography or putting charts for science and having them mark them that way. Hi, thanks again for watching. This is Brian Wilson and I hope you learned something about Google Slides today that you can use in your classroom tomorrow.